Hello crafters and welcome to season three of Peter P Craft Presents brought to you by From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Craft Shows. I'm your host, Michelle Brown, Creative Director at From Picture to Page, which is our scrapbooking, mixed media art and paper crafts community. Now Peter P Craft Presents demonstrations and interviews with our talented retailers as long as with some guest artists. Now for all the details of season three and a catch up on the videos of season one and season two, head over to our website from picture to page and beyond .com .au, where you can see all the links, catch up on the videos, see who's coming up and of course continue to support our retailers which is so important in these challenging times. Now while you're at the website make sure you're on our email list so we can send you a summary at the end of each week as well as keeping you up to date to all the things that are going on from picture to page. Now whether you're watching us here live on Facebook or a replay through Facebook or YouTube or on our website we would love to know that you're there so pop in the comments and make sure you say hi and we'll answer any questions as we go along. Now today, Peter P. Craft presents Mixed Media Art. So hello, and yes, as well as running from picture to page paper craft show, I also do run mixedmediaart.net, which is a retailer based out in Mount Waverley in Melbourne, and we've got an online store as well as a little shop here, and we love supporting the picture to page shows, and we really love bringing you our ideas. So today, we're bringing you the idea of creating a COVID diary. So for those of you that have been scrapbooking for a long time and art journaling, you know, these things make sense of taking photos, of capturing bits of ephemera, newspaper clippings, screenshots of what we're watching on tally and putting them in a way where we can document our memories and keep them there and share them for the next generation. And what I want to invite you to do is create a COVID diary and get your family involved. So get everyone writing about some of their thoughts and feelings, everyone capturing what's going on, what it was like to do remote learning, what it's been like to work from home. Um, how have we gone? We've had to adapt to wearing masks and also you know, shopping and making sure we're really clean and washing our hands as well. So there's so much happening now that would be great to document because we know we love as well as our kids love going back and looking at photos hearing those stories and this is a way of capturing those memories having them in a physical book so we can then share them with our children as they get older and of course with the next generation as well so there's nothing like having something physical where we can document our current thoughts and feelings share a little bit about what's going on what have we got in the cupboard at the moment what have happened when we panic by and we ran out of toilet paper or we're worried we we're going to run out of toilet paper how did our community pull together so all of these things are a way of capturing it documenting when we're out on our walks and then putting it together so that the kids can get used to doing their handwriting as well and sharing their memories and having something that you will always treasure. So let's head over to the other screen and we'll get started. Okay, so what we need basically to get started is that we need a book to write in, we need some markers, and then I've got some glue, some scissors, and I've created a really good um, little printout that gives us some guidelines as well. So like I said, for those of you that have done a lot of scrapbooking and art journaling, there's a whole heap of things that you can still use. But what we basically need is just something to put it into, something to write with, and then if we've got some photos, we can print them out and use them to cut out, any newspaper clippings, anything else. And then of course, for those of you that have been crafting a while and we've got other things to add on, we've got some washi tape we can play with. We've got some other little stickers and punch outs. These were some great ones that I got from Aldi when they were doing one of their craft sales. So little stickers with different sayings and things that we can use as well as those. So let's get started. So like I said, all we need to do is, it doesn't have to be done in all one go either, it's something that we can build on it. So I'm going to start a brand new book with you here today. So I am very excited. So this is the sketchbook that we've got. This is one of my favorite visual art diaries. I've always got one nearby because I find it's just a really good place to document things down, whether it's doodling, whether it's um, mind maps. And so what I'm gonna do is take one of our printed diary prompts. Now we've got these for sale in the Mixed Media Art Store and you can download them, print them as many times as you need to. Of course, if you've got a paper trimmer, you can use that as well. So I'm going to start off by creating a heading page. Okay, so what comes in the download that comes with the headings, it comes with a whole heap of journal prompts, it comes with some other little headings that we can use throughout the book, so things like Masked Up and our favourite shows that we've been watching in lockdown, Jigsaws, how we're feeling, how our 
four-legged friends are going. You know, so many times we hear of where we should have been. You know, a lot of people should have been on holidays this time of year. Events that we've missed. So lots of little ideas there to get you going. And then we've also got some journaling blocks as well to just help us get started of getting those ideas down. So now that I've got that cut out, before I stick it down, I'm going to grab some of my washi tape. I find washi tape such an easy way to add colour to whatever it is that I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is grab a couple of different colours of washi tape. And without too much thought or planning, I'm going to put some little colours on here. And like we said, you can use any stickers that you've got, coloured papers. Let's create a little bit of a border, something to help anchor our heading down. And if you're looking for neat ends, you can always um, cut them. I'm just happy having them nice and ragged. It adds a bit of visual interest. a little bit there and who knows maybe just a little bit of pink as a highlight through there okay now one of the great things about doing some simple cutting and pasting like that is that we can easily just use a normal glue stick now the challenge of course is to use a glue stick so that things stick properly so what we want to do is make sure that we've got some scrap paper and what we want to do is turn our piece over take the lid off and then just turn that glue stick up just that little bit then make sure we turn it over and then from the inside going out making sure we've got all the corners covered and if we do that then in most cases a glue stick is all we're going to need for this and then of course we stick it on and glue sticks give us a bit of flexibility so that we know that we can pick things up and pop them down again. So lid back on the glue stick, of course. Sit that there. It doesn't roll off. Okay, so there we go. There's the start of my COVID diary for 2020. Now, I wonder what else we could pop on there. Let me have a look through my photos that I've collected. So I've collected a combination of working photos, photos from home, having Zoom dinners with family, all my checklists for P2P Craft Presents, um, on Anzac morning, we were out the front of our house with our candles, so that was a photo from there. Then I've got our masks, Robert busy making the masks, and our boys from home learning as well. So I think I might start out, I've got a bit of a, I don't think I've got one with all of us in it. That's always the way for mums, isn't it? We don't always get our photos in. So I'll have to think about what I'll put on the front page. But what I might do next is do our working and learning from home. So let me get out our little heading. So we've got one here for remote learning. So the great thing about having these headings is it just makes it so simple. We don't have to overthink it. And some of these prompts mightn't apply to you. Or they might spark other ideas. Okay, so remote learning. So maybe not on the first page. But it's certainly been a big feature of what we're up to. So... Okay, so again, glue stick up, holding it upright, getting it on there, and then I'm going to stick it, not right at the top, but there. So I so said the other thing that we really want with these is a good set of markers. So we've got a really cute set of 12 fine line markers from Montmartre, and I just find that it's so convenient, it's in a cute little case. So I'm just going to pull out one of them, and then just give that heading a little bit of a border of course now I've done that I thought, well maybe I would want to add a bit of washi tape so that's okay we can do that over the sides And this is where it's great to involve the kids, especially with the journey blocks, because then you can do your writing. And if you make a mistake, it's easy to have another go at it. And then you can come back and, um, and just add over the top of it or add more in. So we've got two boys that have been doing their remote learning. Thankfully, we've got enough space that they can be in separate rooms. So I'm not sure brotherly love extends to... 
spending the time in the same room all the time. Like I said, if you've got a paper trimmer, that's another great way of getting them nice and straight. And even if you just have them printed out in black and white, that's okay as well. Because what we want to do is just jog our memories. So I've got some journaling blocks already cut up. So that gives me an idea of how I might want to arrange them. A little bit of overlap. So when I cut these out, I've actually rounded the corners as well, just to give it a little bit of interest. And I can do the same with this. So just using my paper cutter to cut it out, but then just taking the corners off. Of course, if you've got a punch to do that, that's fantastic. But if not, scissors work just as well. So for those of you that have done a lot of scrapbooking and art journaling, these are just a build on for what you'd already be doing. Sort of perhaps a little bit more journaling for art journaling than we would normally do. There we go. I like that. I think that sort of gives me an interesting arrangement. I can write here about this one and write there about that one. So where is my scrap paper gone? So again, just using that glue stick. If you prefer double-sided tape, that's great. Sometimes though, double-sided tape, when you want to write on it, it leaves a little bit of a, um, a raised surface. So you just need to watch that. It might make your writing go a bit wiggly. great for kids as well because well, I won't say you can't make too much mess with a glue stick because I'm sure there are some kids that could manage to make more mess than others but in general fairly low mess and these are a great um, plant-based one so they don't smell too strong either there we go so then I can write down and hear about what Luke's doing he's got all these post-it notes up on the wall for where he's got all these activities that he needs to work on. Ethan's there with his screen there, chatting to his friends on the phone as well, through whatever it is that they use. Okay. So Florian says, do these are these sheets? So yeah, so it's $5 for the download, and that includes all three, and you can print as many as you want. So I'll make sure that we link them as well. So Wendy says, what program did I use? So we're on a Mac and I printed these directly out of photos. So all the programs are slightly different. You might need to Google how best to print them to get a few on the page. So for a Mac, it was a matter of selecting them all and then choosing that I wanted multiple sheets per page. And then you could pick whether you wanted two or four, or in this case, nine, or you could even go 16 if you wanted the photos smaller again as well. So you might just have to have a play with your, your own software and your own computer to find out the best way to print them. So where do we find the sheets? So Alison, they're over on the Mixed Media Art store, and I will make sure I pop a link to them in the comments as well. So they're over at mixedmediaart.net, and then if you click on the online store button and scroll down, they're there or just type in COVID diaries in the search button which is the way I find most things on my store because that's the easiest way half the time and I'll definitely put some links on so yeah so I've got here our kitty cats have decided they're friends during this time like I said we've got zoom dinners so all sorts of different things and then of course when we've got this we can go and find some or make some photos as well so if we've been baking together like I said wearing our masks ISO crafting I know we've certainly been doing a lot of that I said learning from home, remote learning, however we want to call it. Putting the bins out, there was that whole fun of getting dressed up and putting the bins out for a while as well. So that's another one that I've got. So, okay, let's do one more page while we're together. So perhaps let's do some of the, the cool work projects that we've been working on. So because we've had to go online, we've had to set up a space for us to do that. So here's Rob in his work, and doing his work calls.
So the great thing about this is you can then cut your photos to any size if you decide you need them a bit bigger. And if you don't have a printer at home, there are always options like Officeworks or Harvey Norman that will print out your photos as well. Okay, so what else do we need for this? Let's add a little bit more washi tape. Nothing like finding the end of your washi tape. Like I said, I think this is a great way to use up some of our washi tape too. Okay, maybe not that one. There we go. Don't waste any. Add some blue. So over time we can add to this as more comes up when different things happen. Hopefully there won't be many more exciting things happening for now. But I said it's just changing all the time and if we don't capture it then as we know the weeks are just flying by and we just it feels like it becomes Groundhog Day very very quickly. So this is a way and like we, we know when we're doing any art, art and journaling and creating so once we start thinking about it we start noticing things as well so we think oh that'd be a good photo what can we put there so there we go I think something like that so I'm thinking a little bit about composition so for those of you that have done the art journaling course with me we're thinking about composition we're thinking about those third lines and putting things you know in those power points those power positions in the corner where'd my scrap paper go there it is photo I took this morning. So another idea is to take screen captures as well. So like we said, when we're doing these online classes or Zoom calls or watching media briefings, is to take screen captures of that as well to help remind us. So somewhere here, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Yep. So this was from this morning's briefing, usually at about 11 o'clock where our premiere comes on in Victoria and tells us and we've always got our interpreter there as well so that's the screenshot that I took to remind us of that because that's just become part of our lives at the moment is listening to that briefing hearing what the numbers are for the day hearing any new announcements so just really try and keep on top of it but of course we don't need too much information and we need to make sure we're getting it from trusted sources so another page, I think I had one here that said something about our leaders. Yeah, our leaders in a crisis. And again, it's really important that we don't bombard ourselves. We get just the right information. If we find ourselves going down a rabbit hole, it can just be a little bit overwhelming. But being conscious about our media consumption can really help. Okay, what else have we got here? So, like everything, absolutely working all over myself. Oh, what's going on with this one today? That's what, there are very big differences in some of our washi tape, isn't there? There we go. Okay, so this might be our leaders page. Rough paper, there it is. Oops, uh, glue goes on the back. There we go. Now, where are those markers? <laughs> okay, so we're going with green today for this one. So again, there's lots of things we can do. And that's why I love these fine liners. We can do doodling, we can practice our Zen tangles. And it's such a good way just to add our own personal touches. To our, to our journaling. So if you are, you know, you consider yourself more of a card maker and not so much a, a scrapbooker or a journaler, I would suggest that you give this a bit of a go. Start collecting things, notice what's your 
important in your daily life and then look at how we can add that in so that keeps track of what we're up to. Okay, so our leader, so this is our daily. So the other thing is it's a good way to capture our handwriting as well because I know sometimes you know we think we don't like our own writing but let's make sure we capture it for our gen generations to come as well. Okay, so how are we going for time? Hello Lynn from Tasmania, thank you for coming to join us today. So I was going to have a little look through, like I said, any stickers that we've got, bits and pieces. Thinking happy thoughts, live in the moment dream big so yeah anything that you've got that you can pull out this is a good time to use it because how often do we just keep stuff oh, i wish you were here that'd be good for the zoom call one you see you've got some shiny ones there as well i want this i thought i had one with some photos in it it's got some birds simple pleasures i think that's become important for a lot of us hasn't it <laughs> home is with you oh lovely so yeah, anything that you've got, pulling out, a little thing to decorate. That's a cute one. Where is that page? So a little house, a little border. So anything we've got, we add some embellishments, get them out. Where did that one go? I wanted that house one. I've lost it already. Ah. So yeah, as you're thinking through what you might already have that you can add in, any photos, any stickers. There we go. And again, that doesn't reach across, but what I can always do is just grab the markers and then just continue that pattern. So we've got ultimate flexibility of being able to just continue the patterns along. And really make it our own. Now I just add a little bit of a foreground so our little house has got somewhere to sit. There we go. So we've got lots of different ideas there things to cover like I said adding in your own washi tape if you've got any bits and pieces of cut out so this are also a batch from Audi so these have also got some oh look happy days the perfect day perfect day definitely filled with crafting happy days and some other little journaling blocks so there are other little fun ones that you could add in cards of course you could cut up your own as well I don't know which way that would go what a wonderful world oh we might save that one for later mightn't we <laughs> One cannot have too large a party. Well, we can at the moment. Anything more than one is really too large. And there's again some more little journaling blocks. So they're things that we could add on, little tags. And you don't have to be limited to the pages as well. Another way that we can add some interest oh, cute, is um, creating little tabs with our washi tape. So if we find a washi tape to create a little tab, all we need to do is run a piece over the edge like that and then make sure you've only got one page just fold it back on itself but have it sticking out just that little bit and then that just creates that little tab outside it as well so firstly it makes it easy to find that page when we've got the journal closed again oops and then also it helps um yeah, just create a bit of interest. And that's why I love these journals because with the cover, you can still see what it is. And these come in four different colours. So you can have one for your sketches, one for your face drawing, and then another one for your COVID diary. So there we go. I hope that's given you some ideas. And like I said, whether you are a card maker, an art journaler, a scrapbooker, this is a really fun way to get the kids involved, get them writing, capturing their memories, getting the kids to take photos. It's really fascinating when the kids take some photos as well because it gives us a chance to, um, to see things from their perspective as well. 
And then of course, as you've got some different things, you can add in your washi tape, use your prompts and use some of those ideas as well to um, get you started. So one of the pages could, yes, be your P2P postcards, exactly. So all the different things that we want to share there. Excellent. So I hope that's got you thinking about how we can capture some of these times. As we know, when we live through these unusual times, it, it can feel just overwhelming and Groundhog Day, but let's just pause and capture some of those things. It's already changed so much from March through to now we're in the end of July, start of August, and now we're wearing masks and we've got the kids at home again and we're still remote working going to the supermarket only when we need to. So these are some of the things that we can capture and then have them there to share. And I know that those of you that have been doing scrapbooking for a long time and love printing out your photos, there's nothing that kids love more than to go back and seeing themselves when they were younger as well and hearing those stories about their lives. And this is another way of capturing that and then really being able to share it with our um, communities as well. Okay, so hi Debbie, I can see you there. No worry that you're late. We are always here and always ready to be on replay as well. So I hope that certainly give you some ideas. So like I said, Mixed Media Artist put together a kit that includes the diary, the fine liners, the markers and the um, prompts as well. And in the kit we actually print them or you can just buy the downloads and print them yourself and print them as many times as you'd like. And for all of our special listeners, we've got a special discount on the Mixed Media Art Shop for this weekend. So if you enter the code P2P20 in at the checkout, you will get free postage for all orders over $50. Now normally it's free postage for over $100, but for you, our special picture to page crafters, we'd like to offer you free shipping over $50 so you can get onto the Mixed Media Art Store. Have a look around. If you want a COVID diary kit, jump into it. If you think you've already got everything you need, then fantastic. You can just download those prompts and get started. And then in the checkout, make sure you pop in P2P20 for your free shipping for all orders over $50. And we are shipping across Australia every day except Saturday and Sunday. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that's given you a few ideas. And as we get started, in season three we're looking forward to sharing a whole heap of more ideas to you so of course thanks Debbie thanks Jane it's so good to have you all here with us and I hope you are ready for another season like we said for all of the details hi Mary all of the details pop over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au where you'll see all the sessions coming up for the next six or seven weeks of Peter P craft present season three catch all the replays, get all the links, and of course, join in all the crafty fun. So this is Michelle signing off. We hope you have a crafty day.